guys, it's Grace here. Today I am in West Hollywood at Seed Floral with the founder of Seed Floral, Stephanie El Hayani. And she's going to walk us through how to make these really fun and cute bohemian dried floral bride hats using just a basic um, white hat that we actually, we actually got this one off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. You can get them anywhere using these hats and some really fun dried florals. So Stephanie, walk us through what we need to get started. Sure, so the things that, the few elements that we need to create this floral dried hat band is bark wire, binding wire. Where do you get these? So you can get both of these items at Michael's or Joann's or even I'm sure online on Amazon. And then you'll need some floral cutters or wire cutters and as well. You can find these items at Michael's, Joann's or online at Amazon. And then you'll need some dried components, preserved florals that you can find at Michael's or Joann's, even Etsy and or a dried flower shop or a local florist like ourselves. So you have bleached Italian ruscus, some preserved bleached baby's breath, some natural steepa, some preserved dried chamomile, bunny tails, mini pompous grass, and some little button mums that are preserved. Those are the basic items that we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to keep it kind of neutral in the palette since we're kind of focusing on a wedding inspired boho hat. So the clusters are super easy. You just take a little bit of each floral element. These are so cute. These are dried baby's, baby's breath. breath. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I just kind of take a little bit of each element to create like a mini bouquet. I'm taking a little bit of the binding wire, just a, like a, a snip, just to keep my little cluster in place. And I just wrap it around. Got it. Like so. So what you do is you take little pieces of each ingredient, mm -hmm. snip them mm -hmm. short, and then just and create use the binding wire to yeah. wrap around them. Exactly, cool. to create little mini bouquets or you know clusters, so that way we can add these. So what we need to do is we're gonna take our bark wire and we want to measure it along the brim of the hat so that way we can make sure that it's going to fit. And this wire, what's great about it is that it's flexible, it's bendable. So I'm just gonna cut a little excess right there, okay? So that way it's gonna fit right around the hat so you could see. We're going to create a loop with it at the end, because now we're gonna make it adjustable. Because that way this not only can work around the hat, like this, see? but it will also, you can use it around as a flower crown. Yeah, so it's all the same materials that you would use for a flower crown, but you just pop it on your hat. Exactly. So once we have our hook and we've got it all ready to go and it's all sized, then we're gonna take our binding wire. So we're gonna take about, I wanna say about 36 inches, a little bit longer. It's better to have more length than not enough. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm going to straighten it out right here. And then I'm going to basically attach it to the bark wire and create like a line. Is so, that on the looped end? Yes, I have it on the looped end. Mm -hmm. We're gonna create it close to the end because this is gonna be a full flower hat band. So it's gonna go all the way around. So you wanna make sure it's secure. So you twist it. So that way it's not moving. Yep, did I got get it? mine? Yep, you got it, okay, perfect, cool. see? So now you have this line, you can see. And what we're gonna start to do is we're gonna start to take our floral clusters that we've created and we're going to start to layer. So we're gonna add the first one here, like so, okay? With your hand, hold it with your thumb is it pointing this way or pointing that yes, way? Yes, pointing this way because this is gonna be the end of the crown. So you're gonna, so the end of the bouquet is basically at the loop. So right here, so you're going okay. right on top, right where your line starts. And then I'm gonna take this binding wire and I'm gonna wrap it. I don't wanna go super, super tight because these are dried flowers so they could break. Yeah. And so we don't wanna crush anything, but we wanna also make sure it's secure. So the great thing about this binding wire is that it's very stretchy and as long as you give it a nice good tug, then it's secure. Got so it. I just go around one time typically. Okay. Once I have my first cluster attached, 
I want to trim the excess stems because it's a little too long. So I just trim like half an inch. So about that much, yeah. Here. Using just regular scissors? You can use the wire, these floral, floral cutters. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that mini cluster I just made and I'm gonna now lay it on top of the first one and wrap. Oh, okay. So, th and then we're just gonna keep repeating that. See? Mm -hmm. So like that. Exactly. So you guys, I have my first cluster here. I'm gonna put my second cluster. Mm -hmm. Should you space it out? Or A little bit. You wanna space it out, but you also wanna make sure that this binding wire, that this, uh -huh is on top because you don't want there to be too much gap and then these will break apart. Got it. So you want it to layer just a little bit on top so you don't see it. Got it, got it. Okay. And again, I usually just wrap like one good time, once around. Got it. Wrap around and then pull and like to just tighten it. And then I snip just because I don't want all the excess stems. So I just, yep. yeah. And then we just add another bunch. Oh my God, it already looks so good. You guys check. Yeah, and you know, you out. don't have to do a full crown. It could even do an asymmetrical design where it's only more on one side. It's kind of up to you in terms of like how full you would like the, the hat band to be. And there you have it, you guys. Check out these hats, they're so cute. If you guys have any questions on how to make these, feel free to hit up Stephanie at Seed Floral. Follow them on Instagram um, and send them a DM. Their handle is at Seed Floral. Mm -hmm. And be sure to follow us at Birdie Gray on Instagram for this and more. Mm -hmm.